we'll go ahead and get started. Our hearts are heavy today and our prayers are with the Perry community. This strikes at the heart of everything that we hold dear. This senseless tragedy has shaken our entire state to the core. And I want this community to know that every Iowan stands with you. It's impossible to understand why anything like this happens. But again, I want you to know that we'll work tirelessly to get the answers so that we can prevent it from happening again. I wanna take a moment this afternoon to recognize the immediate and courageous response of local law enforcement today and the incredible coordination between local police, first responders, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office, the Iowa State Patrol, DCI, ATF, and the FBI, and multiple healthcare providers. I had the opportunity a few moments ago to speak with some of the officers involved. And in a situation like this, as we all know, every minute counts. And their heroic actions today, we can say saved lives. The response was tremendous and we're extremely grateful. The full resources of the state government will be available to assist in the response and of course the community's recovery from this tragic event. The mental health region uh, has social workers that are embedded in the school district and will provide counseling services for the students, the families, and the staff. As you all know, this is an ongoing investigation. So law enforcement will brief you only on what they can at this time and they will provide additional information as it becomes available. And so with that, I'd like to turn it over to Chief, to the Chief. Thank you. I'm Chief Eric Vaughn from the Perry Police Department. I want to thank the quick actions of the Dallas County dispatchers who handled and dispatched the calls regarding this traffic tragic event this morning. I also want to recognize the initial officers from the Perry and Dallas County Sheriff's Office and their actions on scene. Thank you to the massive response from agencies throughout the area, including EMS, for their assistance today. It is truly amazing to see first responders work together in these crisis situations. And I cannot forget to recognize the teachers, faculty, and students involved who acted bravely and heroically in this tragic situation. Thank you to the community support we have seen and we will continue to need in the future. All of our condolences to the victims and their families. They need your thoughts and prayers as well as time and space to process and to grieve. This community has been through tough times before and have rallied together. I'm sure this time will be no different. Thank you. I introduce Mitch Mortlett, DCI. Thank you, Chief. My name's Mitch Mortlett. I'm an assistant director with the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation. At 7.37 a.m., <clears throat> excuse me, on January 4th, 2024, the Perry Police Department responded to an active shooter event at Perry High School. Meanwhile, Dallas County Communications was also receiving multiple 911 calls of an active shooter at the high school. Perry police officers responded within minutes. They immediately made entry and witnessed students and faculty either sheltering in place or running from the school. <clears throat> Once inside, they located multiple individuals with gunshot wounds. Officers immediately attempted to locate the source of the threat and quickly found what appeared to be the shooter with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. As additional officers responded, a systematic approach search of the school took place. Officers located during the search of the school an improvised explosive device. The state fire marshal 
and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms rendered the device safe. Numerous officers from multiple agencies were able to secure the school and verify no additional threats. At the same time, first responders were rendering aid to the victims who were later transported to area hospitals. The shooter has been identified as 17-year-old Dylan Butler, a student at Perry High School. Butler was armed with a pump action shotgun and a small caliber handgun. Butler also made a number of social media posts in and around the time of the shooting. Law enforcement is working to secure those pieces of evidence. All evidence thus far suggests that Butler acted alone. There are six victims, one of them who is deceased. That individual was a sixth grade student at Perry Middle School. The other five are being treated at area hospitals. Four of the surviving student, four of the victim, surviving victims are students, and the fifth is a school administrator. The law enforcement response was swift and immediate. Roughly 150 officers from local, state, and federal agencies responded within the hour. The investigation in today's tragedy is ongoing. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation is serving as the lead investigative agency with assistance from the Perry Police Department, the Dallas County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, the ATF, and the Dallas County Attorney's Office. At this time, we will take a few questions. Uh, Mitch, uh, Phil Jones from the Register. Um, I was told by the father of a student who was shot that his son witnessed Principal Dan Marburger be shot. Is he the administrator, and what is his condition? The investigation's ongoing, and we're not releasing any other names other than Dylan Butler's name at this time. Can you give us any indication as to motive for this? I know this is ongoing. But... Anything into the background of him is part of the investigation, and we're obviously going to take a deep dive into that, but there's nothing that we can release at this time. Yeah, where would you give us the status of the other uh, five uh, people who were in the hospital? Are they stable? Are they critical? It, at this time, it's my understanding as of about, an, I should say, as of about an hour ago, one was in critical condition but appeared not to be life-threatening, and the other four are stable. Is any racial motivation in this shooting, and are there any Latino victims? As far as the ethnicity of the victims, I'm not sure. Um, and there's nothing to indicate at this time that it had anything to do with race. Um, as far as motive, again, that's part of the background investigation and that's something that we're continuing to look into. Sir, excuse me, there's a video online. Is there any, uh, any credibility to this video? Maybe this man is the shooter? I haven't seen the video and that I don't know at this time, but we are, Law enforcement is working to secure um, those pieces of evidence, as I mentioned in the statement. So there's nothing more that we can comment on about that. This is the first time that we've heard uh, someone from the middle school being involved in the shooting. Do you have an idea as to the path this, uh, this suspect took? It, it, all, it all happened in the uh, Perry High School. And it was before school started, so there were not many students. And it's our understanding that there was a breakfast program going on. So there may have been students of, of different grades, if you will, in the school at that time. But it all was contained in the Perry High School, not in any of the other buildings. How many shots were fired weapons? That's still part of the investigation. We're trying to determine that. How sophisticated was the IED? The explosive device? I'm, I'm sorry, one of you. Explosive device? Yes. What else can you tell us? Uh, not much about it other than it was pretty rudimentary and it was rendered safe by, like I said, the state fire marshal and the ATF. Can I ask a question of the governor? Um, given that the investigation is ongoing and this is a local state matter, you know, however, the eyes of the world are on Iowa uh -huh. over the next 11 days. How should the candidates running for president talk about what happened? Well, I'll let them. The issue of school yeah. violence generally. I'll let them decide how they're going to talk about it. Uh, we're going to focus on the investigation, and we're going to focus on making sure that we provide the resources that the community, the teachers, the staff, those that are involved, the families, that we're providing the resources that they need during this difficult time. So that's what I'm going to be focused on. The state of Iowa is going to be focused on, and I'll let the candidates decide what they're going to focus on. Worry they Thank you. Criticize it? We're going to take no more questions at this time. What, what does the Thank school, you. For school safety for other schools in the area that we're looking at this year, what does school safety look like going forward here in Iowa? I mean, 
as as it was commented on um, by the chief that and by the governor as well that uh, um, you know everybody reacted the way they should and, and it's obvious that training first of all at the school level you know with faculty and students um, everybody reacted absolutely appropriately the way they should as well as law enforcement as they are entering the building thank you